have made this fight normally in the development of a young man's career. Hopi Price, 19 years of age, 2-0, and looks absolutely spectacular at the moment, but all of a sudden goes in with a big, strong, I don't know whether to call you a welterweight, light welterweight. You've boxed everywhere, to be honest with you. Johnny Phillips, who's got knockouts on his record at 140 pounds against Nathaniel Wilson, who gave Stephen Smith a, a real solid six rounds at the uh, Echo Arena last November as well. Again, this is a tough, tough fight, Hopi. We know you're up for it. It took Dave Colbo a little bit of convincing. You know, these trainer managers always like to protect these young stars coming through. But for you, ready to do the business and looking forward to what will be a tough fight on Friday. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Like you say, um, there's a lot of similarities on the, on this show to, to the Saudi Arabia, even though there's no crowd. When I watched it last week and I watched Jordan walk out to the ring, it was just unbelievable to, to, to look at um, how it was set up. And um, yeah, Dave Dave obviously phoned me and said, um, having a bit of trouble getting an opponent. And obviously he mentioned Johnny Phillips, but I'm one of these. I prefer to fight the better level opposition. I have to raise my game up and, and box better. And I think that's when you see the best of me. For sure, you look at your fight so far, only two of them, but both guys really come looking to survive. Having watched Johnny, that won't be the case. He'll be in your face and he'll be trying to knock you out. Definitely, but that's what I look forward to most. Um, I think I may have only had two fights, but I was kind of sick of them people just looking to survive and that it, it's hard to sh show all, all your skills and what you're capable of when you've got someone like that. So I think it's going to make for a better fight and I'm going to put on a good performance come Friday night. Johnny, you look at Opie, he looks a bit like, reminds me a little bit of Luke Campbell. You know, if you saw him in a pub, you probably definitely fancy your chances if you saw him at the bar. You wouldn't think he was even old enough to be in there, would you? But a massive opportunity for you. You know, you've had some tough fights. You've been on the road, but you always come to fight and you'll be looking to do that on Friday. Yeah, yeah no, um, I always take anything anything that comes up. I, I snap it up like that, no matter what, within five minutes, I say yes to anything because uh, I'm in this game for opportunities like this. I... Uh, I don't see the point in, in, like Hopi said, going around boxing people that they survive. I just like to fight the best on the biggest uh, platforms. There's nothing bigger than this at the moment. So um, it's just a great opportunity. Yeah, I think I took the fight in about 30 seconds. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm game as ever. I mean, yeah, I'm, I've, had, I've had nine pro fights and boxed in five different weight classes. And I don't think many professional boxers have done that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm game as anything. And um, I'm coming to win. And I'm, Come and knock him out. But obviously, great power as well. You got that knockout win at 140 pounds against uh, Nathaniel Wilson. We saw against Stephen Smith. You can punch as well. Looking to chin check Hopi Price. Does look very classy, very awkward, very tall. But yeah. you got to get on the inside. Get There's inside, no secrets yeah. to the tactics on this fight. We had. Um, I was in the gym the whole way through anyway, and obviously then we had a week's notice just to get a bit of a game plan going on. So we got something. We got something in the bank. Um, we're going to try and pull out, and we're just. Uh, just see how, see how it turns out on fight night, but we're all buzzing for it. We're just buzzing for, to be here. And obviously, like Obi said, watching it uh, last week, like such a great venue and like just the, the old opportunity. So, yeah, I'm just I'm buzzing. And what would a win do for you as well? I mean, it, put look, me you back, it put me back in the mix. Um, I've, I said in my interview uh, earlier, I'd, I'd love to have the Lonsdale belt on my waist and getting this win have put me back in the mix. Um, so, yeah, that's... that's, that's uh, we'll get through this fight first. But, yeah, that's the main... Uh, and Hopi, finally from you, obviously a big opportunity for you, looking to stay composed. I know that Dave Coldwell did a great job keeping Jordan Gill composed round by round. Important to stay calm as you as well. You've got a very hungry challenger across from you as well, but obviously listening to Dave to make sure you get your own game plan right and, and get the win by any means necessary. Yeah, it's all about really um, just going out there and doing on fight night what we've been working on in the gym for like the full of camp. And it's basically just like, for me, all the pressure's off. Friday night, I, I can relax and go do what I've been trained to do for weeks and weeks and weeks. So, yeah, I think obviously Dave will keep me calm and I'm sort of a calm sort of person anyway. So I know what I've got to do and it's just about going out there Friday night and, and doing the job. Well, this is what I love about Fight Camp. As I said, the 19-year-old golden boy, blue-eyed, handsome beast, really. We know Ivan Drago, the, the nickname, the beast that is Hopi Price. Doesn't look like it, but this is a fine young fighter against the guy that's looking to spin the whole thing on his head on Friday night and get a knockout victory and try and move himself forward for a shot at the Lord Lonsdale belt. Do not miss number three on Fight Camp Week 2. Hopi Price against Johnny Phillips. Going to be an absolute belter. Guys, if you come up here for a head-to-head, -head, please. 